Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bianca. I have a fun video for y'all today. We're going to be working on four high-end Dollar Tree DIYs. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, especially if you enjoy Dollar Tree videos. For DIY number one, we are using this piece of cork and vase from Dollar Tree. I've been trying to figure out something to do with this piece of cork and it comes just like this from there. I just love the texture so I figured I could do something with it. So I decided to use it on this vase. First I took the vase outside and spray painted it about three quarters of the way from the top to bottom with that chiffon spray paint. And of course you can use whatever paint you want, even black would look really nice, more of a modern look. I'm just marking off about how much of the cork square I want to use on it and I'm measuring it for you guys. It's a little bit under 4 inches. And by the way, this ruler is from Dollar Tree. I just need to figure out the right way on how to use it because I know there's like a specific way. <laughs> but anyways, now what we're going to do is just take that part off and put it on the bottom. And I just overlapped the cork square in the back of it and you can cut off the excess if you want to. And I also added a little bit of hot glue. I'm going to go ahead and add two more strips of this. So this next one, as you can tell, is going to be one inch and then the next strip I cut off is going to be about half an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and add the one inch strip at the top and then the half inch in the middle. So that first one was very simple. I just added some Hobby Lobby greenery in there. Just a different take on how you can add more of a high-end, modern look to any type of vase. And those two other items are from the Target Dollar Spot that I've been having for a few years now. Alright, DIY number two. This next one is also very simple. I'm actually using four Dollar Tree items. I'm going to use two of these 4x6 frames and two of these palettes. So I actually have used this palette before in a previous older DIY and as you can see I did paint most of it black already. I'm just going to finish painting all of it black, get in between those lines right there. And like I said I'm using two palettes so I'm going to do the same to the other one. So to add that palette in the back of this, I'm going to remove everything from there. I'm also going to remove these little, I never know what to call these things, but I'm removing these. <laughs> and then we're going to hot glue the little palette to the back. Now it almost fits perfectly. I'm sure if you keep sanding down the ends, it would fit in there nicely, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to add hot glue to the tops and then or to the top and the bottom and then just put that in there and then once that's sitting in there nicely I'm going to add hot glue to the sides just for a better hold. Alright, last but not least, I'm adding these Dollar Tree ferns to each of the frames. So I just cut off a piece and I'm hot gluing down both of them to each frame. I'll show you both of the frames right now whenever I am done. A 
Okay, so here are both of the frames. Such a nice modern farmhouse look, very simple. You could also use bigger frames if you like, depending on the space. Um, you know, how much room you have or where you want to put this at. So this is just a smaller take on that. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Let's move on to the third DIY. This next one, we're using these three Dollar Tree items. I have two palettes. These are a little different than the previous DIY. These are more of a square shaped. The other one was more of like a rectangular shape. And the small candlestick. So I'm going to paint the candlestick black. I forgot to mention earlier when I used this paint, this is the matte apple barrel paint from Walmart. You can paint the candlestick any color you choose and you could also use spray paint which will probably be a little bit easier to do and better coverage. While the candlestick is drying, I'm taking this antique wax from Waverly and we're going to paint both of the palettes. And once I'm done with that, then I'm just going to rub it down with a piece of cloth. And that's just really to remove the excess and also for it to dry faster. It's a little hard to get in the center of this palette or inside of there. Uh, maybe if you use a really small brush, you could, but I just didn't worry about that. Oh, and I actually am using a piece of paper towel to rub off the excess. Now I'm taking one of those palettes and I'm going to place the candlestick upside down. You can put it either way, it's up to you. And I'm just gluing one of those to the top of that. And I'm gonna leave the other one by itself and you'll see right now how I have it set up. Or you've obviously already seen it at the beginning or on the thumbnail. So that is pretty much it for this third one. Okay, so all I did was place both of them next to each other just to give it different heights. Like I said, that's always nice in home decor when there's different heights. And then I added these little galvanized buckets with greenery. I've had these for maybe a couple years now. They were from the Target dollar spot. For the fourth and final DIY, I am using this wood plaque from Walmart. This one was about $1.98, I believe, a little under $2. Now, they do have a smaller, more thinner one that's a dollar if you can find that one. I just picked this one up. And then I have some beads. I'm only showing you four of them, but you actually need 12 if you want to create the exact same look. And I'm also just showing you the bag that I got from Amazon. It came with over a thousand, I think. If you want to check that out, it's in my Amazon store. They have so many different beads that you can pick from for super cheap. So I also have these long skewers from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to use as well. So this next part is important. You're actually going to need eight of these little skewers, but as you can see, they're a little bit under four inches. And I am using the sharp ends because that part is going to go directly into the wooden bead. I'm going to use that antique glaze for all of these parts. Again, you can use whatever paint you want, whatever stain you want. Again, for this exact look, you would need eight of the skewers with the pointy ends and 12 of the beads. And just remember to rub off the excess if you're using this glaze or stain. So now I think it'll make sense why I chose the pointy ends of the skewers. So you'll see that I'm adding glue inside of the bead and then I will stick that pointy end inside of there. The 
pointy part of the skewer is able to push all the way through to the opposite side, but don't let it go all the way through. Now we're just going to hot glue the two ends together. Now I'm going to glue down the legs. So obviously you can tell this was before I decided to add the third bead at the bottom of this and before adding the other two legs which will make four. So once I turned this around it of course just fell to the side because it didn't have no support at the bottom and you're probably wondering why didn't I just glue it the opposite way and have the two beads on the ground instead and that was just because the look I was going for looked this way. So now I'm adding the third bead. As you can see, I am adding glue inside of the hole of the bead and then I add the stand on top. I'm doing it this way, that way I can see that the bead is sitting flat, that way it is well balanced. So once I added these two legs, that's when I decided to add the other two to make four legs. And then after adding the other two, it was completely stable, you don't have to worry about it breaking. All right, so all I did was just add an Ikea wicker basket with some greenery inside of there. You can obviously put anything on top of this. Of course, you don't want anything too, too heavy. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Another idea would be, like I said, to turn the legs the opposite way. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of video. If you're not yet subscribed, please do so, especially if you love Dollar Tree DIYs like I do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Could stop the time, don't you know?